Who are rolling? Rolling. On 90% battery. 90% battery. That's Eight, how we live. 89. 89. Oh, gee, I should. Oh, my it's God. Like, quick, wrap it's it like, up. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> rapper, thanks for listening. Yeah. Interesting thing. Said by uninteresting people. Welcome to another episode of Interesting Things Said by Uninteresting People. My name is Ben, and as always, I'm joined by the far more organised half of the operation, Tom. How's it going? Good. Far more organised is in like I had to bring my charger, and it's <laughs> ten minutes ago. I was at home just pe- piecing all these bits together. Like oh, I need that. I, I need literally this, had I the job that. of filling a backpack with three <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, it literally was. <laughs> Nailed it. And then nearly running back in because I forgot the eye lock. But you know. Um, mate, you're not looking very fat from Halloween sweets. No. <laughs> on your uh, on your trick or treating rounds, did you get much luck? Or no? Uh... I, do you know what? Do you know what? This is probably going to shock you. I've only I think I've only ever been trick or treating once in my life, and it's because um, my mum was never never mad keen on letting us go. Can I be honest, mate? Right? Dude, I'm surprised. I'm not sorry, not surprised. I'm glad that you said that because I feel exactly the same. You have the same thing. Um, I've never been like naively young trick-or-treating i've never been like an innocent trick-or-treater yeah yeah, like four or like five yeah i've never gone out just for the sweets i think i went out maybe twice when we were old enough to know better and just cottoned on to the idea that we could go and get some free sweets from the neighbors yeah but i'm not bothered about it now well i mean i'm a grown-ass man now but yeah but i don't see the appeal of it anymore maybe that's because i didn't i don't know maybe it's because we didn't get it when we were little. maybe i don't know i think i it was either mum couldn't be bothered <laughs> or <laughs> or it was she just didn't like the idea of it like no you're not going out that's fair enough man which I mean, is fair enough we saw some trick-or-treaters and, the, and even the little kids see the, the little kids that we saw with their parents knew the score it was kind of cool to see they were saying like oh mummy that house hasn't got any halloween decorations so Let's we won't we there. won't go there smart kid i was well <laughs> We walked up the road uh, and there were some other kids throwing water balloons at another house from opposite side of the road. Yeah, so You get them all, don't you? Swings and roundabouts, <laughs> isn't it? Shitheads and nice kids. <laughs> <laughs> Little bastards. Um, we haven't been this first one in a while. Let's just put it out there. It is. It is, man. Months. Uh, Lit- literal months. Months lit- of an S. Actual literal months. Ugh. That's, um, yeah, man, it doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel like a happy heart on the inside. I'd, I'd love to say here's the reasons why, but to be honest, there isn't one. As uh, Russell Brand said in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I just carried on living my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is kind of it is a kind of bit like that, isn't it? But man, you know what? It's it's what enriches. It's what makes this such a, a well-rounded podcast, full of hundred percent interesting things to talk about. It's going to be insane, Randy. It's great to have you here, mate. Yeah, <laughs> come on in, come on in, and Dave. Dave, sometimes Dave, the odd occasion, Jared. I think all three of mate. yourselves make yourself at home. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to lose room on the on the listener sofa in a minute. Yeah, come on. Hopefully, we'll one, one right. of you guys has got to stop listening. <laughs> um, so we we realised that a lot of the things we want to talk about uh, today were probably quite short topics, I guess. So this Relatively might dance short. around a little bit. Yeah, I guess there's no agenda. Well, there is an agenda, but it's not like here's what we want to talk about. It's yeah. more like here's some things that we've done and there's no theme. There's no theme. There's no co- we like missed we cohesive. missed we missed quite a lot of good stuff. We missed Elon Musk interview where he smoked the dope. Yeah. So we should point out that patron saint of the podcast Elon Musk yeah. has I don't know fallen from grace. Is he, he's been know, a bit I, weird, hasn't I he? always get the impression that we can't even talk about him because we don't talk about him enough. Do you know it's like almost like our opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> We're so far off Elon <laughs> Musk's so radar. Off. But I, that that was weird. The it, whole it was weird. diver thing. I I still kind of in, I kind of enjoyed it. Like I'm sure it'll make a great film. Like <laughs> I'm sure yeah. it will. But yeah. anything he does, like I, I get the impression usually, I, well, I don't know, but he, <laughs> very ill-informed. I usually get the idea that he 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 lands up to do the right thing. Yeah. Generally speaking. Yeah, yeah. And if he makes a bit of a twat of himself or, or says some silly things, then. I think it's from the frustration that people don't what, aren't doing what he thinks it's, is the right thing to do. I think, dude, I think you've nailed it a hundred percent. I think he's so used to being like the guy who knows what he's talking about, the guy who's so in charge, and yeah. not not even I don't know, not necessarily in a power way, but just in a he knows what he thinks is right. Yeah, you know. So yeah, like you say, when it when people deviate from that, it becomes a bit of a challenge. Definitely. But then you then you start calling people pedos. 
That's a bit uh, weird. Yeah, that, yeah. Come on, mate. Calm down. Come on. Put the um, phone down. In the film, who do you reckon would play Elon Musk? Ooh. <laughs> do you know what came to mind then? Ben Stiller, for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know why. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I don't know the name of the actor, but he was in uh, New Girl. Uh, not Nick Miller. I don't know. The other one. The bad guy from No Country for Old Men. Oh, yeah. he Yeah, yeah. That did a trick. He's got that. They had to put on a bit of a few pounds, you know. Just I don't yeah. know. Well, you know, Elon's not a big guy, but just to get the face look right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, we can't talk too much about him because you know. You know, you know what we could talk about in the opposite of good news because. Oh, good news. Well, is it good news or? Do you know what I think? It could come. It could fall under the umbrella of good news. Okay. I guess it's like inevitable news Ooh, new uh, section no okay inevitable news <laughs> in um, inevitable news yeah uh, well we might, we might as well just say it for for people that have maybe noticed and mm-hmm. all that sort of thing um i don't have any hair anymore on my head uh, well i had noticed you had noticed i am wearing a hat right now which you can't see and which you probably notice if you watch my videos at all or anything like that that i wear a hat all the time um <laughs> so has he cut his hair no <laughs> um I guess I might as well just say why. Um, it was getting to the point, this is, it's kind of like you were saying earlier about uh, just kind of accepting it in a way and just, yeah, just yeah. doing away with it. I was getting more and more like, how do I... Because I was, I was getting pretty bold on top. Like the crown sure. the crown had gone this year. Okay. You know, the, the, the front sides go... Usually when a chap's going bold, it's usually yeah, the, yeah. the front two top bits that go first. And sometimes that just stops. And yep. then you can stay, remain like that forever. Um, but this year, especially the top, the very top, the crown had just really started to fuck off, yeah, for lack yeah. of a better term. <laughs> it really just I sense decided. a little, little bit of anger there. Yeah, it just decided <laughs> that it had enough and it was disappearing quick. And I, I remember thinking, I remember seeing the odd photo here. I was like, oh, that looks really bad. If I was, if I saw that on someone else, I'd think, why haven't you gotten rid of it? Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of covering it up and it was covering it up in like, Almost, I didn't realise I was doing it sometimes. You know, I was doing like a sure. half sweep over and it got to like, I don't know, it got to like July. Mm-hmm. And Nevin, or my friend Nev, bought some clippers because he was going to buzz his hair completely. Right. Yeah, he ended yeah. up not doing it. He ended up doing like a number two or whatever or something. Sure, really short. Sure. And I just said, I'll just leave the clippers here if you like. Oh, and I uh, see. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like, I didn't plan like it like tonight, tonight. So nice. It was almost yeah. like, I think he knew, a lot of people asked me when I was going to do it because I talked about it before. And I, oh, okay. I always said I'd do it before term starts because because of where I work, I'd rather the students see me exactly. with, with yeah. fully bold. Because like, <laughs> yeah. we're having a new cohort of students every year. So it's like so half of them might as well think he's always been bold. Yeah, and the sure. other half might as well think like, oh, he's cut his hair over half term. I wonder why sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, sorry, I'm just making sure my Mac isn't shut off. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep, go the technical so, issues. Yeah, it just got to that point. I just got home one night and and Callie was free, and she, I was like, "Let's let's do it. Let's get rid of it." Um, what was that like, mate? Like that that because it was kind of horrible. Like, yeah, you know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad about it because I was, sure. of course. Like I've had longish hair for most of my life. Yeah. Well, apart, well, I guess I guess from when I was like thirteen or fourteen, I, I grew it out because that's what they do. That's what we do. That's like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Grew it out, so it was kind of sad, and I was like. I remember sitting down on the, the chairs before I did it and feeling a bit like, oh man, this really is it. This is like, and the thing is when, when you're like, when you're going as bold as I was, a lot of people are like, oh, you can grow it back and I'll be able to get, but I knew that point. It was like, that's it. Yeah. Like, once sure. this is gone now, it's never coming back. Yeah. Yeah. And like some people are like, oh, you know, hair grow back. It's like mine won't. Yeah. <laughs> well, mine will in horrible patchy places. <laughs> and, um. Yeah, it was. I guess in a, in a way, it, it's relieving because you don't think about it anymore. Yeah, and it's just like it's gone. But you know, if there was a drug that said one pill and it all comes back, of course I'd take it. Yeah, you know, sure, of course sure. I would. Um, but that's that's good to hear, though, man. That it feels good after you've done it. Because I mean, this yeah, is this is the thing. I mean, there's you're not obviously on your own. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah. Not you know, you see stuff on Facebook. Like I've, I was, we, we do have a life outside the podcast, as I was yeah. talking to you about before we <laughs> yeah. started recording. <laughs> Um, you know, when you see stuff pop up on Facebook where people have done exactly the same thing, every dude comes out of the woodwork who's who's done the same and he's like, Yep, yeah, don't worry, like, yeah, it's a good look, mate. Yeah, and it, and I should point out as well, it'll suit you know, it looks sharp. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah, it looks thank like you. a yeah. it looks like a tidy uh intentional, like a really yeah. kind of like I've done this and that's on yeah. purpose. Yeah. I think um it's funny because when I see people out in town, like 
I don't really use Facebook very much, so I haven't posted a picture of my bald head on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> or, like I haven't, there's, I haven't like I haven't got a picture that sure that sure I think oh I'll check that on Facebook uh, um, yeah yeah and like I think the first one of me was from my brother's birthday and those people are like what happened to your hair and I'm like <laughs> yeah. and I, I did it about two months ago yeah so it's like oh yeah it's it's all gone I this saw is, yeah, yeah. I saw a friend Amy from the Cove and she was like when did you do that I was yeah. like oh about a month and a half ago do you, I know it's slightly different but I because I had the big beard. Yeah. And I and yeah, I went out say, uh, at the end of uh, last week, I think, and and yeah, and well, dude, I haven't I haven't seen you since getting rid of it, uh, and people, you know, so you still get people asking, you know, you've had quite the change of look, <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> it's surprising how much hair does change your look, though, like yeah, big time. Yeah. It changes the shape of your face and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember when I did it there, I looked in the mirror, and the first thought, which really relieved me, mm-hmm. is I thought it doesn't look that bad. It Amazing. doesn't look that bad. That yeah. was the first thing that hit me, and because I, I was prepared for the worst a bit, I was sure, a bit like, sure. "Here we go, here we go, here we go." And yeah. the first, the first few days at work, like you'd see your reflection in like the, um, like just windows and stuff, and yeah, I'd be like, yeah. you know, double taking, like, "Oh shit, that is me," yeah. you know, like, <laughs> and I still get people at work, like, because obviously I work in quite a big place. I still get people at work that come by and sometimes see me. They're like, "Oh, Tom, when did you do that?" Yeah, I'm like, oh, "Wow, about now," but yeah. But this it might sound like a silly question. Has anyone been mean? Like, no, you know, like I know, I know. Obviously, everyone has a little joke with their friends. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Do you know what? No, the the not not at all. No one, no one said any like nasty bold comments or anything yeah, like exactly, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and that's like the. I think the worst I've had is I took my hat off at work once when I was in my office, and one of the students kind of shouted out, "Oh my god, he's bold!" <laughs> but that was it. It wasn't like he looked yeah, stupid. Yeah. It was just, "Oh my god!" Yeah, and I think it's because I just didn't realize. Because I hadn't, I hadn't either hadn't seen him for a while, or they just like didn't know me at all, and always thought oh, I must have hair under his hat. Yeah, yeah. It I, is. I mean, it is quite a dramatic change, isn't it? Yeah. Like good or bad, it's just it is. It is. A, it is a hell of a change. Yeah. But um, like I say, I'd, I'd much rather have hair, but this is better than the slowly degrading. I don't, I don't know what you know. It's hard to. I, I get it when people when you see people got a big purple patch. I'm like, I, I get it. Yeah. I know why you're holding on because I was for a bit. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, but dude, I what I'm because I'm I should interject here. So like I'm I'm thinking this might be something that comes to me in the future. Man. I mean, my hair is yeah. very short, and I you know there's not a massive amount of it. You know, it, I, I have a feeling this might at one day come to come to us all. You know, yeah. Uh, but I feel like it's gonna be like when you want to be sick, and that might sound really stupid, but when but um for me, I hate being sick. I hate it. Hate yeah, yeah, to yeah. do anything I can to avoid. You know, I really do not enjoy it. Not that you know normal people would. But afterwards, you're like, why didn't I do this five minutes ago? Yeah. Well, oh, if man, you're feeling yeah. rough, it's like, yeah. why why wasn't I sick when I felt it's sick? It's like you two know? minutes of absolute pain for so much. You feel it, so much better. Right? Yeah. So, man, I'm, I'm seriously, and I'm genuinely, I'm stoked for you. Like, yeah. really, really stoked. When you sent me that photo on WhatsApp, man, it was it was a bit of a jump. And then, you know, <laughs> talking to Halloween. Might, I thought you might enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's man, funny. it's, it's yeah. I, I'm glad we could talk about it as well, because it, it does affect people. Yeah, and it does. It, and not not even just with hair, but like just stuff they're not it's, happy about or not comfortable you, about. I think it's because a, a lot of you know that sort of thing going bold, you don't actually have any control over it. Yeah. Like you, I mean, you could try and cover it up, and you could wear a wig if you really wanted to, but it's not like being a bit overweight or underweight. You can't be like, right, I'll adjust what I do, and yeah. it will come back, or I'll go back to normal. It's just like a slow. That's what. That's why I did it because I didn't want to go down that slow decline of yeah the island. I'm yeah. like going on my touch of my head there, the island in <laughs> the front, and like, oh, well, like I say, mate, it was it was so bad on the crown on the very top, sure. and I think a lot of people didn't see that because I'm taller than some people, and they yeah, they, sure. they were like, why on earth did you do that? And like our friend Lauren, who's quite small, said I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, you know, you, I'm I as did. tall as oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm as tall yeah. as you sitting down, so that, yeah, that's why. Sure, sure. But, I, but yeah, I had to go. I heard a great expression the other day. They said you've got to fire it before it quits. I think, yeah. that, I think that's yeah, that's, it up. that's kind of what I did. I was like, yeah, decided it wanted to go, so right, yeah. oh, sling your egg. Oh man, you could have had the power donut. What's that? You know where you just leave that bit, the ring, <laughs> the <power around>. <laughs> <laughs> just well, even, like the even just tie, tidy this up, like get rid of all this up here, yeah, and just leave the little ring. I might do that. The ring, don't mean It's like a priest or something. <laughs> or it's like a, it's like cha- <laughs> champ off anchor man. Yeah, yeah. It is. This this is the weirdest. This is the weirdest segue. But I don't really have that much to say about this anyway. Yeah. But as long as we're happy that we've covered hair. Yeah, properly, yeah. It's done. Uh, I this is this is inconsequential to a lot of people. But I'm buying a house. Uh, we're we're looking at a new place to go live. So, dude, the podcast 
room. <gasps> Who knows, man? We might. Uh, it's not going to be here. It's not going to be here it's anymore. Not gonna be here, no. So man, we, you know, look around, take, take, <laughs> take it in, drink it, drink it in. in. We're buying a house from a guy who looks exactly like Champ from Anchorman. Really? Yep. 100%. That's yes. amazing. And it made me feel comfortable. It made me feel it's happy. The hat. He didn't have the hat, uh, so he's hatless. But dude, he opened the door and I nearly laughed. Because he legit... <laughs> no, and the thing is, like the thing is, I, I should go on the record and say, for someone who, for one, is never going to hear this, and it's unlikely that anyone is ever going to come across him having listened to this. But Very just to put, it, to put it into the universe, he is the nicest guy in the world. Yeah. This guy is is super on the level. Really, really cool guy. I'm very pleased to be to be buying a house off him. He looks exactly like Champ. Um, uh, cool. When he hears this, mate, you ain't gonna be happy about yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. No, you're not buying my house anymore. <laughs> but yes, I don't know why. Yeah, dude, like I said, he had the power donut. It's a good look. It's a good, it's a good look. look, and it makes you look more trustworthy when you're when you're selling a house. I'm sure it does. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> Man, never buy a house. It's the most... Oh. I can it's, only imagine that. I've moved from a house to a flat and that was stressful enough. Yeah. So. Well, dude, we, we've, we're only halfway through the process now and it is... Where is the house? Don't worry about asking. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's in Lanky. So oh, okay. it, it's in a little village outside of the town where we're in now. Do you know, uh, weirdly, I'll probably be just as close as I am now to you. Yeah, if probably. From very similar if it's yeah. in lanky yeah i would have said so yeah man yeah yeah it's not, it's not far off this is closer but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyway for people yeah yeah no dude but i'm but it's we, we're trying to sort out solicitors and mortgage oh man and all there's the so many it. middlemen yeah yeah it's like the middleman's fucking playground yeah man so I mean, all your money all let's play around i, do, I know man, until it I all know. goes away <laughs> Well, dude, this is the thing, man. I know, and I know we're in, you know, the position we're in is something that, that people would like to be on. I shouldn't really complain about it, but you can, aside from the earning the money factor of people going, oh, people are never going to buy houses anymore. Yeah. It's a ball lake. Just yeah. trying to find <laughs> just somewhere. You know, it's just a, a waste of time. You know, that's, yeah. that's the millennial problem. It's not, not having the money. Yeah. It's just not being asked. Yeah, I can't bother. <laughs> oh, do I have to buy a oh. house? Okay, that may or may not be true. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, like I say, man, this is not the most interesting thing in the world, no. uh, but it is what it is. But speaking of... Uh, interesting things. Of interesting <laughs> things. Well, dude, I was going to say about, again, what we we said this is going to dance around quite a lot. We did. But the currency thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've sent you the invitation to this initiative, this Q currency. Q currency. Just putting it out there. Might be a load of bollocks. <laughs> might not come to anything but i'm giving it a punt this is this is sorry you might want to explain this is the new yeah. crypto uh it's yeah it's i oh, think no, it's not crypto you said well, it's not it, crypto. well it's yeah it's not you don't mine it or anything like that in, yeah. in the same sort of way that you would with say bitcoin yeah um yeah it's it's a bit the details are scant at the minute uh it's Oof. being run by ex paypal uh employees who uh they're basically their, their idea is to try and and uh kickstart a uh, a new way of doing financial transactions is, is how yeah. they put because the, they, they say the problem is that nothing new or everything new like that is going to struggle to get off the ground because no one uses it and no one uses it because it hasn't got off the ground etc etc yeah so they're they're incentivizing people to to get on board now you know with your with your name and email and then you just Go sit sit tight for three years until you Fine. become a millionaire. I think that's the plan. Yeah, I've always stayed pretty pretty as a guy. It's like super interesting technology. Anything like cryptocurrency or anything like that, I've always stayed really far away from. And like there's that there's that Bitcoin thing relatively or past year or so when when loads of people were suddenly buying it. Like a few of my mates yeah. bought some, and like my brother invested a bit, and you know all this sort of stuff. And they're like, you know, they, I think in a way they almost kind of expected me to like, oh yeah, you know, I've got loads. Yeah, sort of thing. sure. But, um, I've never, it's never really interested me in like, this is the future because mm -hmm. I, I don't think it is. And I think it's, it's not anything about it that holds it back, but it's just politics and government. It, that sort of thing, in my opinion, would never take off. Yeah. Although yeah. I know it has in some places and, you know, some stores accept it and that's great, but I, I, I can't see the, the time to put into it for, mm. for me, at least anyway, I don't see, I don't. I can't bother. See, this is it, man. I mean, I it's it's a weird one for me too because I the advice you hear from the people who are in the know goes against everything that are my instincts are telling. Because I do, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm kind of a bit wary of it. I don't really, yeah, don't I'm not like really jump into on it. it now, and you'll be a millionaire yeah. in like ten years. It's a dude. I've heard that scam before. Yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I should go out and say I'm I'm wary in the same way that I'm wary of this this yeah. new uh, initiative Q job. Um, and if it wasn't only such a low bar to, to entry, 
then yeah. I'd probably be passing this by too. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not here to sell people on it, no. but but just just as an interesting thing that came up recently. Definitely. Um, it's it's oh man, like you say, it just feels like a scam. Anything that's like yeah, that. Yeah, and if yeah, I I obviously know it's Bitcoin's a bit more standard than all the other ones mm. like Ripple and and Litecoin, and there's there's quite a few different ones of Bitcoin's like the big. Yeah. The big one. But you always read, well, I always seem to read like Bitcoin's up, Bitcoin's down, Bitcoin's up, Bitcoin. And that, I guess that's just the nature of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe it but, would stabilize, I guess, as you know, as maybe. Got, but maybe it'll be in 100 years by the time it's actually yeah, leveled I, off I from people. Yeah. It's like I can't see it taking over as currency in my lifetime at all. Hmm. Not at all. I, I mean, maybe if there's like an apocalypse. Do you know, do you <laughs> no, know what that'd I mean? be like, bottle caps. Yeah, yeah, bottle caps. Yeah, and you can kill the caps. Um, I just, I, no, I just can't be bothered with it. No, it's, it seems a bit. Yeah. Is there any tech recently that you can be bothered with? Oh my god, oh, mate! Dude, oh, that was a you sick see transition. That segue? People out there will be blown away by this. They'll be like, "This is the most revolutionary podcast I've ever listened to." <laughs> you should hear those segues. Um, yeah, I got the uh, obviously the Apple Watch Series Four, which yeah. is uh, which is really great actually, and it's um, it's like you said on actually you would have to comment on the video. I had the Apple Watch Series 1 and I sold it pretty quickly after I bought it because I probably used it for about two months and I didn't like it. And I'd really tried, as a guy that likes tech, I really tried to like it. I was like, no, stick with it. I'm sure like it'll come around as like, you'll get used to it and it'll be your daily sure. watch. You won't even think twice about it. Sort it of thing. It's like fake it till you make it. Yeah. Like, keep using it and then you'll but find I, the routine. I never had that with the Series 1. And I think the reason was, I think my biggest gripe with it was there was no always on display. So like I check, I check anyone that's got a mechanical watch knows you, you probably check it without really moving your wrist. Sometimes you just yep. glance at it really quickly. It doesn't matter what you're doing, a meeting, anything, talking to a friend, you can, you can literally <laughs> dart your eyes down. <laughs> you wait for and, them to look away yeah, yeah. quickly to check the time. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and it's like, it's not rude. It's not anything. You can, you can check your watch quickly. Yeah. And with the series one, you couldn't, it was, it was like, I'm raising my wrist here. It was like this. It was a bit, I felt it was a bit like that. And it was always a bit rude. And I was like, don't really like it. And I had a watch that I really liked. And I, was, I ended up wearing that again for like a day. And then it, I, I realized after two weeks, it was, that watch was still on my wrist. And I was yeah, like, it's time sure. for it to go. Um, but the Series 4 has been really good. And I think one of the main reasons for that, it still doesn't have always on display, which sucks, which I don't like. But the raise to wake, so like when you when you turn your wrist, is, is so much better yep. than the last one, the one I had. And whether that was corrected, you know, midway through, because this is like four, mo three models ahead now. So this might sound stupid, but just to dig into the specifics of this. Yeah. So like, is it a gyroscopic movement? So you have to raise it to a specific yeah, I mean, position. You, so you just, yeah. yeah. But the, the Series 4 is so good. Uh, my Series 1 wouldn't do that. If yeah. I if I did that, it, it might light up. It might not. These are these are good podcast wrist yeah, actions. Yeah. 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 So like, but just it's, imagine the, the watch face turning on. Yeah. Um, I'm just curious because it's not, as you're moving your arm around, it's yeah. not coming on. Yeah. But then you look at it and it yeah. comes on. It, so that's what I mean. It's it's quite it's it's yeah. really interesting. Yeah, around there it doesn't do anything. So it must be like a gyroscope, I guess, but it's yeah. pretty it's pretty good. The other thing I like as well, and I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if this was an update midway through or something, but if it's not on, so like I have to, annoyingly I have to wait for it to switch off now. You can all right, here we go. You can actually just sorry, right? This is podcasting <laughs> one oh one. I'm turning the little crown and it lights up very very small. Oh. So like if you know if if you find if you just want to quickly, you know, quick little quick glance, you can just do that. And that, that brings it up. Or you can just tap it and it will come. You know, I'm gonna say, man, of all the things I do like about that the watch, yeah. the fact that you had to sit there and wait for it to go off to do that. Yeah, yeah. Suggests that that particular function yeah. might not be that, that. that this is why this is why it's so much better. It's like lit about I would say on the old one, I'd say nine times out of ten it worked when you turned your wrist. But the one time mm -hmm. it didn't work, it destroys the whole thing. And that's like this doesn't work as a watch. Would that watch? Uh, what is the when you turn the dial on? Does it then stay on? Yeah, so but no, no, it will. It will stay it'll on still for sleep. five seconds. And it'll still I think because it could be like a nighttime thing. Like yeah. it's on a stand, you could just dial it up. Yeah, yeah. to like a low. Uh, I'm sure you can do that too. What are the apps like on it? Um, the 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 apps on it. To be honest, like the the ones aside from Apple's main ones, Apple's main ones are pretty good. Like, if you really want to, you can check an email on it, but you've got to have something wrong with you if you're checking your emails on there. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, yep. who's it's quicker to pull your phone out and, and read yeah. your email properly than browse it on your wrist. Yeah, if you're sure. if you're a bit stuck and you can't get your phone out of your pocket for some reason and it and it lights up, you can then you can like and it's yeah. okay, it does the job. Um, things like 
the fitness tracking is awesome. It's really yeah. good. It kind of syncs up with the machine at the gym, as in like not not like interfacing, but it's it's on the level of that. So I I mean, it must be mean. quite good. So you know, if I'm holding those two big things, yeah, like reading yeah. the heart rate, that's pr- pretty much bang on the same. Nine yeah, times yeah. Out of ten. So I know it's pretty good. Um, uh, Spotify's coming to it soon. I use Spotify. I don't use Apple Music. Um, mm-hmm. But Apple Music apparently is very good. To be honest, it's one of those things where you don't really use the apps on it. It just works as you expect it to. It's like the apps are just powering yeah, I mean, what there you're is, trying to do with it. There is yeah. like the app selection screen and you can browse around. But most most of the apps you can download are kind of like to-do lists and like little things. Okay. So, you know, really tiny little apps that just help you out here and there. And all that yeah, sort of yeah. Um, but no, I wouldn't say there's like a killer app. Like, wow, you've got to have that for the watch. Yeah. Apple Pay on it's really cool. I can so imagine you, that would be really easy. Yeah, yeah so you, sure. just, you literally double tap and then uh, your car pops up and you just pay for stuff like that, which is great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the the series four, like I said in my in my video review, yeah. <laughs> is um it's so much better. The screen's a lot bigger as well. It's the same size watch face, but the screen goes all the way to the edges and all that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, sure. The, it's brighter as well, which is great for outdoors. Battery lasts way longer. Again, about three days, which okay. is which is for for a watch face. It's not like an e ink or something like that. It's a yeah, proper yeah. OLED display. is is fantastic. Like yeah. Not putting it on charge every night is great. Cause you, were, I'm, I did, I do watch your videos um, yeah. from time to time, uh, and you were saying that it's possible, you know, to have specific pixels light up. Yeah. So it shouldn't be an issue to have yeah. like a, an always on that's, low level. Dude, that's my biggest frustration with it, and I I guess I guess it's something to do with battery life. I guess they don't want to wreck. Maybe they haven't found it because yeah, an OLED display can light up each individual pixel. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to light up the rest of the screen to to light it up. So when you when you put it on charge, it has like a really small display of the actual time. Yeah, and I kind of think like, why can't it have that all the time? And then I wouldn't have to like check my thing. But yeah. I guess there's more to it than that. Maybe it's something to do with the gyroscope. Maybe it, maybe it, maybe it does wreck battery life. But like Samsung's but, phones have always on displays. But even even just has it of an option. Have yeah. it as an option and say this yeah. will, you know, have a warning or whatever. Yeah, this like will, this will decrease battery life. Yeah. By yeah. however much, you know. Uh, maybe it's like maybe it's like through the screen burn or you know who knows. Maybe yeah. it's like through that. But then if yeah. the if the clock changes every minute, then it shouldn't be because it's changing. Yeah. Enough. Move. Do the old move around the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Of. Almost like a screensaver. I don't know why they did do it. I hope. I hope it will come in a software update at some sure. point. Sure. I don't see why not. So, I mean, is this you sold on them now? Do you think you'll be yeah, like Series I, 5, Series 6? I don't, I, do you know, I don't think it's, it's not like an iPhone, as in like you, the latest and greatest has loads of different features. The Series 4 is a big jump from Series 1 and 2 and 3, but Series, the, the Series 2 and 3 were tiny jumps from Series sure, 1. Yeah. So I don't think I'll get a new one next year, for instance. I, yeah. I, to be honest, I don't think they'll put one out, a new one next year. They don't always put out a new one every year. They, they kind of wait and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's really great. It'll, at the moment, I'm loving it. And I didn't ever have that with the Series 1. I didn't think this is cool. Yeah. Whereas this is kind of like just perfect. Actually feels good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What do you What do you think of the look of it? I mean, fashion... I you like know, it. No, that isn't a leading question, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. but do you, you know, do you like the way it looks? I, and... I do a lot. And you can obviously change the bands out and have loads of different um, <clears throat> things and stuff. But I, I think it's like industrial design-y kind of... It, it's nice. I, yeah, yeah. I don't think that and go, that's a smartwatch. Hmm, sure. I, I, it looks quite nice. And it like it feels good as well. It's not like a... um. It's expensive, right? It, you know, they're expensive devices, yeah. but there's no... Have a look, I'm passing yeah, it yeah, to Ben. Sure. It's, it doesn't feel... Oh. You know, it's very Apple. It's yeah. it's super nice. It's I super, will not like, enter your passcode. It's, um, it's well-designed. It's solid. Yeah. I mean, would I would I spend 400 quid on a normal mechanical watch? Probably not. But yeah. but I know that kind of does a lot more on that sort of thing, and it's sure. it's cool. But like I say, ever since I started going to the gym... Um, it's great for tracking and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and I can yeah. look at it after and see how many calories are burned and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, see, so I, I remember when, because we, I think we talked about the Series 1 yeah. way back, way like back in an when. early episode. Um, and I, th- I said then, like, it's because it, I've done, obviously done running and stuff for a while. You, yeah. You, you wear tracking watches and, yeah, and the rest yeah. of it. And I, I was thinking then it's only too long before, uh, it's not going to be too long before the, the smartwatches catch up to that. Because yeah. the tech will be better, like the actual heart rate monitor will yeah. be better and more accurate. Yeah, and then you have downloadable apps that can tweak how you know. Definitely, I, I have a feeling there's potential there for it to be incredibly better. I've, I would say it's already there. Like the Apple Watch, in terms of like fitness tracking, is one of the best out there. Okay, because you know it's got. If you pay a bit extra, you can get phone calls for it. But it's got GPS built in and all that sort of stuff yeah. now. So if I leave my phone at home, I'll still get tracked wherever I go, which is kind of cool. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> I tell you well, what, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> that came cool. out very easily. Yeah, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is really cool. And then it's always listening, which is great. And it's always yeah. taking pictures of me. <laughs> it's always on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, no, it's great. I don't want to ramble too much about it. <clears throat> It's really great. They're, well, you've got to meet the minimum time to get your pay packet from Apple. Mate. Always, oh, exactly. Yeah, I need to make sure they're they're sending me those big checks. Yeah. Otherwise, Tim will be on the phone and he'll be like, Tom, <laughs> yeah. come on, man. We're, we're, we're sending you millions every month. <laughs> come on, buddy. All our eggs are in your basket. Yeah, yeah. Come on, we... um, mate, why did you start going to the gym? Okay. Or when? I should, you when, know, I was, like when, I was, why? I started probably two months ago now. Okay. Um, and I started going... Because I was doing nothing. Fair um, enough. And that, that honestly is the reason why. I didn't look in the mirror and go, God, I'm putting on weight. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get muscly or anything like that. It was just that point. And me, me and Callie uh, talked about it. Like, oh, we should go. Maybe we should go. Callie, like, does dance anyway. So she's staying sure. active in that respect. But um, and I, I, I don't know what hit me. I think I was thinking about it probably at work. And I should have been doing something else. And then... <laughs> I was like, I haven't done any exercise in like years. Yeah. And it, it's not, it's not like, oh, like six months. It's like years, sure. years and years and years. Like uh, since I worked at the college, it was four years ago when I lived with my mum, I lived opposite. So that's not really exercise. Yeah. And since I moved to Wooden Valley, that's driving there. So that's even less exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I teach all day, which is kind of standing up, kind of sitting down. I wouldn't say it's like, I'm not running around. Yeah. yeah. So yeah i just and we just said let's do it and another reason is the gym which is at work as well is really cheap oh cool okay. for, for staff is 10 pound a month oh right okay, which is decent. which is almost which is almost nothing really isn't it when you when you think about 10 pound a month but like it's not it's not much at all yeah it's like yeah. two pints exactly. two or three pints <laughs> yeah, yeah for for um public it's only 15 quid as well it's really cheap yeah it's not yeah. the biggest gym it's not the best gym i think one of the bike machines is on the blink but <laughs> But like, <laughs> it's the dude. Oh, I'm sure it's on the blink. Yeah, the, the wheels don't want to go around. I've yeah. been pushing all day long. Yeah. It, does, it feels really hard. I'm just not going anywhere. I'm just yeah. getting on. I'm pedaling. I'm not going. Anywhere. Yeah. But um, no, it's all right. I I don't want to lie and say yeah, I love it. I I don't really enjoy it. Like it's sure. all right. It's it's kind of cool. I think the thing that annoys me most about it is like doubles up washing. Yeah, like fair that sounds enough. lazy. Yeah, people yeah. Are like I'm, you know, getting through two boxes a day it's and like two, two outfits, t-shirts. Man. Yeah, it's two outfits. <laughs> Um, oh, so, but good for you though, dude. That's really cool. Yeah, thanks. It was like, um, so we go two or three times a week now to just try and again, it's just to stay active. It's just to yeah. do something. Yeah, yeah. It does, I mean, it does coincide because it has tied in with the Apple Watch review, which is nice because I wanted to talk sure, about that yeah. anyway. But that honestly, that wasn't. So the, I'm gonna have to do some effing work uh, now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that that was kind of um, yeah. That's why I just just wanted to do something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good for you, man. Yeah, that's that's that. Honestly, is the long and short of it. I, if you know, if I managed to put on some muscle, great. Yeah, hey, got to go out. for the full statham. Mate. Yeah, that's what's going to be next. <laughs> or you know, if I lose a bit of weight, then cool. But not, it's not the plan. It's just to stay active. Well, dude, I started going um, probably maybe maybe the start of this year, maybe whatever. So, um, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, so, yeah. So you know, I've been in it for a few months. But the, the specific thing was that when I first started going, um, I see I I have a guy. You know, he's a. He's a mate anyway, but I have, I have a, a dude. Yeah. And he was like, right, we're going to start by doing these movements. Yeah. And what was concerning wasn't that, wasn't like a strength thing or a, or a strength or weakness thing. It was a movement thing. It was like a mobility thing. Yeah. And I, it sounds really stupid. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, a, a cripple or anything, but, I, but yeah, he's going, put your arms above your head straight. So straight arms straight from, from in front of you <laughs> up over your head like this. And God, I get to like here. I'm, you can imagine, you know, I know you can't Ben's see this, guys, his arms in there. but you can imagine like it's not very far. I get yeah. to like here and he go Ow. all the way up. I'm like, that is all the way up. <laughs> yeah, that is all the way up. But, but it's because, I mean, I spent, uh, obviously, I, you know, I, I changed jobs at the start of the year too. Obviously, we're out. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm out of an office now where I was spending before like eight hours in front of a computer. And I still feel it now because I, I had this pose that I'd sit in when I was at work doing something on a computer or what have you. I'd be leaning on one elbow and I'd be typing like this or, I'd, or yeah. you know, I'm sorry. Again, this is this episode is the best for like this look. Like, but I have one elbow on the desk and I'd be typing away slouched sideways. Yeah. And now, even now, I'm when I'm doing like, like different movements around in my shoulders, especially I, one arm moves in a completely different way to the other one. That's and weird, I can't it? move either of them fully how I should be able to. Nice. But it, but it's, it's finding that out. Yeah. And yeah. now we're working to like, I'm trying to get it 
free yeah. and, I, and I'm, i am getting better at it you know but it's that was the scariest thing yeah i can imagine because you know i'm not i'm not an old guy i'm, I'm 34 now but i want to be running around and doing yeah, stuff for a few run. years <laughs> yeah yet, you know and the reality was that without thinking about without me even realizing it I was like an, uh, an old man, you know, I, yeah. really, I really couldn't get into different positions and stuff. The, the biggest thing I realized when I went, and I, I still don't do many weights, I usually do like quite a lot of cardio, like maybe half an hour, or 45 minutes of cardio yeah, and, then, yeah. and then do some weights. Because I'm not, the honest reason, because I'm not too clued up on them. I'm not sure, sure. what I'm doing and I don't want to be that guy that like breaks his back or like, yeah, you know, puts yeah, his sure. arm out or something silly like that. But the, the biggest thing I did notice when I was doing the weights is like my my arm strength is I'm weak, man. I'm sure, like sure. weak, as in like I've got no. <laughs> I, I went oh, it's all coming out now. I went, yeah, I went with my brother once, and like we're doing the the bench press. Yeah, yeah. And he gave me the bar. I was like, yeah, how much weight is on this? He's like, it's just the bar. I was like, holy crap! Like, oh, dude. Yeah. I, I I realized then I was like, I could do like six of them, and I was like, that's it. Yeah. And that's sure. not even weights on it. I'm so weak. <laughs> But, um, but dude, this is the thing, man. I can it's, do ten now, so just hey, put that out. <laughs> but this is it, man. It's 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 having the courage to find that out. It is, know, and, and having like the, the discipline to do something about. And it, just to ask, like like Matt and Kieran, just, like ask my brothers, like can you come along, and just show me, because I don't know what I'm doing. You yeah, know? yeah. And like when he was like, Kieran showed me how to do squats, and like again, I did that with no weight on the the yeah, bar, and yeah. I was like, I, could, I did like I don't know, I think I managed ten of those, and I was like, that's it, right? Yeah, that, hopefully that's yeah, it. stop now. And he's like, no, try and do 30. And I was just like, he's like, have a break every 10 and try and do 30. And I think I got to like 14. And I was just like, man, I, that's it. That's all I've got. Yeah. So finding that out was not shocking, but like I kind of knew it anyway. But sure, having sure. it confirmed, like it's, you are it's quite tough, weak. Man. Like the, num- <laughs> the numbers don't like, because man, dude, I've been there. Like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's, but the numbers, it, that's the rough things. They, they don't lie. No, they you don't. Know, they don't you, lie at You're looking at it going, oh, that's, yeah, that's no good. Yeah. But hey, man, but maybe we'll have like, Tom's monthly gym check-in. The gym update, yeah, <laughs> yeah the gym yeah. update. It'd be great. The, the dude bro roundup. <laughs> oh man, this whole podcast is going to change. It's gonna it is. Raise. We're going to be here with our like uh, protein shakes. You hear us shaking. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How many weights do you lift today? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. How many tons did you lift? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, tons, yeah, mate. tons, mate, tons. <laughs> I feel like we've had a very adult conversation so far. This yeah, has been, been really quite adult. A, yeah. yeah, quite a great. Um, should we talk about something less adult? Go on then. Have you seen Daredevil? Oh man, yeah, yeah. Another fantastic transition. I know, um, I did. I've been working on that one. <laughs> let, let's just just get it out there. Ben's seen all of it. Daredevil season three. Let's just yes. say that. And I've seen it up to episode ten. So Ben's more well versed now. I've got three episodes to go. Effectively, it's so good. Yeah, it's so so good. I'm I'm gonna try and oh, there's not I don't I'm, there's not even heavy spoilers in the last three to be honest yeah I mean I don't I don't know, don't mean that to be a spoiler in itself but there's nothing you know yeah, I'm not no gonna like, I'm not, we're not oh you know I won't talk about it but no yeah but yeah I think you'll enjoy if you've enjoyed the first ten you'll enjoy the last it's three been, it's been like so good it hasn't been like yeah it's pretty good like yeah like um Luke Cage season two I thought was way better than season one I really enjoyed Luke Cage season two yeah but I didn't think this is stunning. I thought this is good and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Um, but Daredevil season three has blown blown me away pretty much every episode. I've been like, wow. Not in a, a really geeky film, like video geek me, like they've done some really cool things. Like yes. when, when they do yeah. Dex's backstory, that's really interestingly filmed with all the, the yeah. black and white stuff and just everything about it is brilliant. And it, it's great to see that De- or Matt Murdock like weak. Yes. We're just talking about being weak, but he he's yeah. like <clears throat> he's nowhere near where he was in season two. Yeah, sure. You know, he's he's powered down. He's having to earn it again a little bit, big time. Yeah, yeah. Dude, um, I know everyone talks about the the one shot fight that they have in every series of yeah. Daredevil, the hospital uh, fight. The yeah, uh, when he when he goes into the hospital and then fights his way out. Is it the pr- the prison? Sorry. Uh, yeah, not the hospital prison. Yeah, yeah, what I'm talking about. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, I think he goes for the medical, doesn't he? That's yeah, why I yeah. think it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like That's, in a medical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was I. We finished watching that scene, and I turned to my wife. I turned to Claire, and I said, "I forgotten how much I love this." Yeah. Compared to the others. Iron Fist, compared to Luke Cage, how Just much change, this yeah. is coming home to yeah, what man. was good to start with. You know, there's like there was like you know the 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 demon baby of it all, which is I, I'm for season yeah. one. Yeah. Um, 
And then, yeah, there's there's lots going on. With Jessica Jones season two, Luke Cage season two, yeah. Defenders. You know, we had to wait a long time for, for Daredevil to come back around. Yeah, yeah. And it, you can you can see why it's the best one. Do you, but, and it's, it's by far the best. Yeah, yeah. It's head and shoulders above the rest. I would take more Daredevil over any of the other three Me at too. this point. If they cancelled... Well, sadly, they have cancelled Iron Fist and Luke Cage. Yeah. Man, which, yeah. like... I kind of get for Iron Fist. I feel like Iron Fist got like a really bad rap. Like, yeah, first season wasn't great. Mm, second series is much better. Second series is much better. <laughs> I feel like a third series, they could really nail it. Do yeah. You know? Like, it, it was cool. They need to explain his double glowing hands with the guns and things. We need to know what that's all yeah. about. Yeah. I think, I think, I think the problem with Iron Fist is like the other three are so grounded. Yeah. And it's the only one that's a bit like dragons and. Right. And, which is just a bit. Dude, I reckon they should have, honestly, I think they should have leaned into the idea that Iron Fist is supposed to be the ultimate fighter. They yeah. should have leaned into that more because that would have differentiated it. Yeah, it would yeah. have been... Uh, it, like Okay, so when Luke Cage came along, for example, um, it was... Uh, it, I can take it back even further. So we had Daredevil, whereas he's just like almost... I know he's superpower, but he's he gets beaten up a lot. Yeah, he's and not... That's fine. Yeah, you don't he, think like... But he's, yeah, he's like a... a he can get hurt big yeah. time. Yeah. But, then, but then we had Jessica Jones, and it's like, well, she's super strong. So the threat has to be a more interesting threat. And we had David Tennant. Which series one, Jessica Jones, is up there. It's great. It's up there with Daredevil. It's, it's amazing. Right. Then we had Luke Cage, and it was like, he's bulletproof, so he can't be hurt. Yeah. So the threat has to be different again. Yeah. With Iron Fist, it could have been... He's this incredible martial artist, which he's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. You know, just taking people down in one punch. You know, yes. one one move. Real. There was an opportunity there for a real different, fluid kind of fighting. Excellent choreography. They had it all on the, on the table, ready to go, and they just completely failed it. You know, he was getting as beaten up as everyone else. Yeah. You know, it, it's just a shame, man. I think that's probably what it is a shame. weakened it. Because every, I think there's there's every. There's episodes now and then in Iron Fist. I'm like, that was kick-ass. That was a great episode. Yeah. And then you get like a couple where it's just kind of pisses around a little bit. I, I don't know. I, I like the character. I like that. I thought in in Luke Cage season two, he was a fantastic addition to that yeah. episode. He was great. Yeah. Like it was, it was, that's probably one of my favorite episodes, Luke Cage, is when he pops up. Absolutely, man. Well, they should do Heroes for Hire. They should do um, with the two of them, just a series of it. Dude, maybe they will. Maybe that's why they are cancelled. Maybe that's so, why right. it's coming together. Although, dude, I don't know if you've heard this, with the the figures for uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones, all of them, the figures ain't so good. It's, Despite how good the third series of Daredevil is, man, the, they're dropping figures. It's not... Do you know It doesn't surprise me. I think the old superhero fatigue maybe is kicking in. And I think mm-hmm. maybe... I think some of it might be how it's advertised. Do you know I, I don't... Yeah. If you, if you had no idea, I, I don't know if... Because it, it screams superhero a little yeah. bit. And maybe it shouldn't. Maybe it should be different. I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, Claire was never... You know, she she's enjoys watching sort of the superhero films that come out and what have you. But she was never... She didn't come to it. She come to Daredevil thinking, oh, great, it's Daredevil. Yeah. She came up because I wanted to watch it. I said, look, it's, it's kind of... It looked down to earth. You know, yeah, it's a yeah. bit more grounded. And she really loves it now. Really enjoys it. Because it's a bit more... You know, there's a little bit of exotic... Oh, he's got these cool or you can hear yeah, things yeah. but it's not sort of laser beams and flying through the air and not all the rest all, of it. it's yeah. it's a much more kind of street level yeah uh, character and do going back to what you said that prison fight in, in dead Evil season three that's might as well keep it spoiler free because it doesn't ruin anything but uh, the director this is really geeking out the director and and charlie cox said that's the highlight of their career is that scene really they said they love you know they they filmed it. They watched it back. Apparently, it took, I think it was like the fourth take. They got it right. straight after lunch. They all had a coffee, came back and did it in that first take after oh, lunch. Oh, great! Yeah. And um, you just said it's the absolute highlight of his career. But I, I remember that scene where because he gets escorted out by someone dressed up as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's just it's full blown. You can't breathe in that scene. It's a bit yeah. like holy crap, holy crap. And when he when he gets out into the taxi, it's like that weird relief, and it's just yes. like oh my god, he's yeah. <sighs> It's it's almost it it puts you into the scene. Big that time. single shot, that's what it's good for. It, it's almost like a video game, yeah. especially at the end. I remember specifically there's a room where it's kind of just all kicking off. It remi- I remember thinking watching it, this is like the end of a video game. Yeah, where you where this is the last little bit that you got to kind of plow through. Yeah, you know, to get get and to the door over there. That's you know. silent like. I think there's a bit in, towards the middle where he goes into that room in the middle where the bars are across both sides and it's almost like, right, reload, grab your health packs. Yeah. It's, it's going to yeah. get worse now. Yeah. yeah. 
that's kind of yeah i agree it was it was like that but man it's so good i can't wait to finish it yeah we'll probably end up watching an episode tonight but um but dex i, I dex says i guess he's bullseye isn't he from yeah the comics. yeah sure yeah. yeah yeah um he's great yes he, and he's so troubled and, and damaged and it's yeah it's so good he's it's, such dude he's such a lunatic as well that's what, yeah he's mental even down to i know this is all deliberate but even down to where he's where he's faking his empathy and because he, he keeps repeating this, I oh know this is very specific. If you haven't yep. watched this, it's gonna make no sense. <laughs> but it's it's where he's faking it by saying the same lines that he was taught by yeah. a psychologist. That, that must be really hard. That must be really hard. Yeah, yeah dude. So oh, he's just regurgitating what he knows works. Because you read, I mean, I did just a, to um, John Ronson's book, uh, The Psychopath Test, yeah. which incidentally is John Ronson's writing. I enjoy is really good. The Psychopath Test is an excellent book to read. He says it in there where. These people are out there who who don't feel the emotions that they should feel, but they know what they're supposed to be saying. Yeah, they know what they're supposed, how they're supposed to act in this situation, and it's not like a, trying to trick people. It's just I don't know how to do this. Yeah, it's like the guy uh, in a watching the football in a pub who doesn't really like football knows he's supposed to cheer. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, you feel like yeah. yeah. Are we excited now? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That must, yeah it's good. Apparently. Yeah, no man, I, that that sort of attention to detail in it yeah. was. It, yeah, I mean, man, he's it's really he's, good crazy menacing as well like when yeah. when where you feel sick when he's far away from matt because at a range he's deadly yeah yeah and it's, it's not so much when he's up close matt like kind of usually beats the crap out of him yeah but yeah it's when it's when he's far away and he gets knocked away i'm like oh god what's coming now it's yeah like yeah some little grain of rice that goes straight for your eye or something. yeah it's just yeah like, I like the kind of way they the, they got that right for me as well with the character because obviously Bullseye and the kind will just it's it's the creativity of everything he's shooting or throwing yeah. or whatever. I think they kind of just hinted at that a little bit. Yeah, like there was some kind of exotic little inventive things he decided to yeah. to use as yeah, weapons. Yeah, to flick or something. But but generally they kept it I non think, non ridiculous. I think that's what they do really well in those Marvel series is they their villains may maybe not so much of Iron Fist but their villains are really. They don't call them by their name, or you know, they're not like, yeah. "Watch out, it's Bullseye." Like, yeah. You know, it's none of <laughs> it that. It comes Bullseye. They're, yeah, it's nothing like that. It's really grounded. They're real people. Yeah, they're either messed up or or have a power that they don't really want or something. And yeah. you, you kind of get where they're coming from. Dex is probably the most. Yeah, absolutely. I feel so. I felt sorry for him in a way. It happens with them um, with Kingpin in this as well, though. Where you, I've, I mean, I mean, the first series especially, but I feel like that's where Dude, it started. Dex, you you yeah. get to see i mean he's he's wrong and he's a he's a maniac and he's obviously a very evil person yeah but you do understand why he's doing what he's doing yeah, yeah. you know and that's and it, the best it's the best sort of villains one you can empathize with yeah yeah definitely but no man i think i uh, will we'll personally reconvene well I will, definitely you know, well, not for these guys not for the podcast no. listeners <laughs> but yeah man, yeah yeah so when, good. You, when you finished it man it's like a master class of like great just a great series it's, it's yeah. awesome me and Callie are like fully like engrossed when it's on we yeah like almost yeah. don't talk to each other just like i hope they uh i hope they make more of them i hope i hope they do too the other two um being removed from netflix so the uh, iron fist and luke cage being cancelled i yeah. hope that's not a, a well, sign I, the thing i have read online is that jessica jones has confirmed season three and okay. season two of punisher is filmed so I, it, yes that's, you're right actually, that, yeah. that that will definitely come out um what they'll do with with the sad thing is if they decide to end daredevil now which would be awful yeah what a series free series and it's it's wall to wall fantastic well there is another theory here as well i don't know why i just picked up this pen sort of point (laughs) and gesture with um yeah the there is another theory because netflix um netflix disney are obviously starting their own streaming service yeah that's why i thought daredevil uh, luke cage and iron fist might go Mm. but also, because they're putting on the um, the the Marvel TV series, yeah, uh, like the the Bucky and Falcon TV series. Oh, I heard about it's that. happening. And, and there's another one, isn't there? Um, Scarlet Witch and Loki. That I heard rumor. I yeah, I think yes. I think what the other one's been confirmed. That one's right. like likely. Yeah. But um, however, however, that will take place in the universe. Yeah. God knows. But but, but that's really good, though, man. I mean, that'll be. That'll be an inch. Although I suppose I say it would be really good. I hope it doesn't become like you have to be watching everything, all of, yeah, all to of it, understand to, it, yeah, yeah, to even understand what's going I'm on. Sh- I'm sure they won't, because I, like, I mean, the the, I guess that ties in more. But you know, the all these Marvel series are tied into the MCU, but you wouldn't know. Yeah, 
oh man, how good would it be? Just just Daredevil, put Daredevil like a little a little scene where you see him in like in, in the before, second Infinity just, War. Just needs to be that tiny, you know, just a tiny reference. Maybe maybe his helmet on the side. Or yeah, something. exactly. It just doesn't yeah. matter what it or, is. Or even you know what, dude? It, imagine imagine this, right? Imagine we're watching Infinity War two, or yeah. it, the rumor is it's going to be called Avengers Annihilation. Yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah? That, yeah. Imagine watching that, and then halfway through, it, I'm not just talking cold cut, and now it's this that um, prison scene. Just have a one shot, have a something shot like that. Yeah, with the same, you know, but with the same camera, so it all it it blends in, it fits in the film, but you have a scene like that where it's just one long shot. That would be of a the gem. Avengers. Yeah, yeah. Or we'll do no, no, dude. Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil. So, yeah, right. bollocks to the Avengers. Yeah, just, have, yeah. <laughs> just cut straight in. But have it, have it so out. someone's got a, you know, some bad guy's going in somewhere and he's like, I'm already here. You're not getting past me, kind of, yeah. kind of thing. That, and then just it just plays out because, dude, I, I know it's never going to happen. It's ridiculous. Obviously, it's not going to happen. But I would wet myself with excitement. That would yeah, be the I coolest would thing. If there, if there was any hint that they bring any of those heroes into the, the. Yeah. Even though it is, bring them in somehow. It would have to be Daredevil. Oh man, yeah, absolutely, it, big time. And I don't know how they'd do it. And you know what, Charlie Cox could pull it off. He's a good actor. Yeah, okay, I agree completely. Hundred percent. Anyway, come man, that oh, was dude, big... that was that was a lot about Daredevil to talk about. It's so good though. It's so good. Please, please watch it, Randy. Yeah. Randy, please just watch it, mate. Real quick, I know you said you didn't want to talk about this too much. Do you see Bohemian Rhapsody? I did. I haven't seen it. There, to to sum it up. <laughs> I really, really liked it, but I don't know enough about Queen or anything to really make... That's how it was. As a film, I thought it was fantastic. Cool. It just celebrates Queen more than anything. It's not like it's not like an anti-AIDS film or anything like that. It's not yeah. like... Well, be careful it. while you have fun. Yeah. It, was, it just showed... It was more of a Freddie Mercury drop. It was that's more cool. on him. Yeah. It was more of a biopic. I guess it's all, you know, all hyped up. You know, it's yeah, not... I'm yeah. sure those stories happen, but not quite like it's p- depicted. Yeah, yeah. But it was... It's great. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I think anyone that goes to see it would pretty much love it. Oh, cool! Because yeah, I, because I ask my own person. I don't, you know, I know, I know there isn't a lot to talk about on the on the on the cast. Yeah. Um, but just for my own knowledge, yeah, I, I'm thinking I should try and catch it. I yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. I'd probably go again. Oh, you know, right. I did like it that much. And I've, funnily enough, it's it's almost like really lame of me, but I I never really listened to Queen, but recently since that I have. Yeah. And sure. it's a, such an effect of the film. I wouldn't normally. I've yeah, watched the yeah. film. I heard those songs like you hear those songs when you're a kid, don't you? Parents play them and like Queens on the you know. Oh, dude, 100%, you just hear yeah. it and it, like listening back to like those ones, just like Killer Queen. I think my mum used to play a lot, and it's just like, oh my god, oh, what dude. a tune! Yeah, no, dude, Killer Queen's a hell of a tune, and I great. used to ace it on the original Guitar Hero. So <laughs> just uh, putting it out, that's my personal favorite. <laughs> but but dude, that's great. What about the? I, I don't think it's out yet, but have you seen the Elton John film that's coming out? I've heard about it, but I haven't seen with the um, Taron Egerton. Edgerton. Actually, I might have seen a um, trailer for it. Yeah, it looked thing. mental. Yeah, in the same kind good. of vein, but just crazy. Do you know what? The only thing that I that made me sad, I guess, about that the film was it really celebrates like what being a rock star is, in in like a good way, not like let's yeah. do drugs and that. It, it shows like all the great things that they had access to do. Like you know, they had yeah, yeah. big budgets for recording and they could try new things and you know all this sort of stuff. And it kind of made me sad that that rock stars like that don't exist anymore. Yeah, you know, that, really... it's died out. Which is kind of sad, but it just goes to show you know they've died with technology along with everything else. And yeah, but you won't ever find someone like that again. Sure, or very rarely. I know what you mean, man. I think uh, I mean we don't. This is the start of a whole other conversation, but I think some of it is that nowadays there's uh, it's a much lower bar to entry to, yeah. to professional music, Big which time. which you know I'm, it might sound like a strange thing to say. I think it is good that people can make their own music and record. I mean, we know, like, personally, yeah, yeah, between us, to record their own music and what have you. But it does mean that your overall quality goes down. Big time. It used to be you had to be... Um, like, <coughs> excuse me. The Like, we went to go and see... Uh, so we went to go and see... The, uh, we saw The Cure, Headline. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've seen plenty of old bands. Like, with, um, I saw Gary Moore play guitar once. Yeah. Uh, and, and sing at a gig. And it's watching people who were around maybe 20, 30 years ago who are still they've got chops you know robert Big smith time. opens his mouth and it sounds exactly the same as when yeah. you know when he recorded you know when they recorded the, the songs they're famous for mate this is it they only had tapes so they had to be good yeah you couldn't be a bad player. and it's so easy to forget that yeah like you watch you look at um you know you look at like old famous rock stars and it's like oh yeah they're a bit sloppy now like you know they're yeah. a bit you know they're a bit kind of ragtag rock star it's like yeah but they can play 
and they can sing, you know, because they had they had to be good, yeah, like you, capital G good. But yeah, back back then, like seventies and that, you couldn't. I guess you could in some styles, but some of those things, like you can't be bad. You can't you know, fake you, it, man. You can't fake that. You've got to be damn good at guitar, yeah, to nail that solo or to to, to do whatever. And and this is the thing: it's not about auto tune, and it's not about stuff like because yeah, because people have if, to be talk about tuning specifically. People have used auto tune for a lot longer than people would think. Yeah, yeah. Or, or recording techniques to to polish yeah. a performance. But I, I think it's just the fact that everyone nowadays is told because we see so many people uh, in the public eye who've made music, it, it gives you the perception that it's not that difficult. Yeah. So the effort into becoming a good rock star or a good musician goes down. Yeah. But people expect to be able to succeed even yeah, with a yeah. minimal effort. I, I don't even know if it makes any sense. But... I know what you mean. Like the, in that Queen thing, they there's one point in the film where they, they without spoilers, they end up like leaving like a, a record company. They leave one record yeah. company. And that they're, they're so, when they leave, like, you've lost the best thing that's ever happened to you. And they know that. Yeah. Like, you know, they, I'm sure people are arrogant, you know, people are arrogant then and they are now. And you could say that to whoever. But back then, that must have been like, holy crap, we've lost Queen. Yeah. Like, you know, sure. that's a big deal. I don't know. It was great. I think, like I say, it's more of a celebration. There's no, there's like sad touches in there. Like, you know, obviously when they don't avoid the AIDS thing, you know, it comes up. Yeah. It's dealt with. It's, it's sad. It's not like, but there's no, the end is really triumphant. It's great. Cool. It's man. a really cool film. I think anyone would enjoy it pretty much, even if you never listened to Queen or whatever. It's a great story. Oh, great. I love those. Sort of, I really like those sorts of films though, like that are based on true stories or like yeah. they are the thing, but they're obviously amped up. I love those things because just to imagine it happened, it seems insane. Yeah. Like he throws some parties in there and they're just insane. Yeah. They're over glamorous and that, but I can imagine that back then. I can imagine that to a point. Like yeah. I bet it was a bit like that. Oh man, oh to be alive, back in those days. <laughs> so yeah, I sometimes I can't tell if they're better off than than we are now or vice versa. I don't know. It's a good philosophical point to end on. <sighs> are they better off back then <laughs> than we are now? Answers in the comments, please. Answers in the comments. They I see think... the people back then seem to think that we're better off now, but. I don't feel like we are sometimes. <laughs> I think, yeah. This is this is a whole other conversation as well, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, it is a bit depressing at the minute. <laughs> what a note to end oh, on. Oh man, dude, we killed it. Sorry, Randy. Well, but Dave. I think, yeah, we'll talk about that next time. Yeah. I think that's the episode. It's got to be it. That's it. Thank you for listening this far, if you have. If you haven't, this is weird. Yeah, shame on you. But if you haven't, how how are you hearing this? I don't know. Maybe that guy that you talked about earlier with the the guy that bought a house of is so infuriated still listening <laughs> I'm so oh, even bad. if even if you just skip to the end and can hear this then yeah uh, drop us a comment ask us all sorts of questions uh, where can people find you online if they want to send you a message the old at bite review on good, Twitter good. Uh, or you can use at Benji One Lung if you want to get hold of me or just uh, just or just don't or just you know, do, do if not, you like do or not, just don't. don't don't even listen if you've yeah. listened this far undo it yeah just stop now uh, Thanks, as always, to uh, Tony Thaxton for our theme and to uh, you for listening. Goodbye. Strong end. <laughs>